mentioned, Jefferson Parish officials are monitoring oil, the oil spill and are ready to take any action where necessary. And we're also following breaking news right now with the Coast Guard confirming that the river is back open in one direction. While we don't know which direction, we do know that it is in one direction. Uh, Jefferson Parish Councilman Chris Roberts is joining us now by phone to kind of give us a little bit more details about what you all are doing with the situation. And Councilman Roberts, on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, how imminent is the threat of oil getting into your parish water system right now? It's very low. We, we would say uh, maybe a two at most. The, the good sign is, is with the river being back open in one direction would be an indication that they've contained the leak. And the fact that the leak occurred um, about 50 miles north of us uh, would also indicate that uh, it's not nearly the concern that we may have felt it would have been yesterday. Now, last night it was mentioned that the current is traveling around three and a half miles per hour. What does that mean, and has that changed this morning? That is uh, the same as, as far as the numbers that we have now. That's the surface movement of the oil. Typically, the oil would stay on the top of the water. So, therefore, since the event occurred yesterday around 4 o'clock, uh, if any oil were to make it down to our area, then it would be about 8 o'clock at the East Bank intake, 9 o'clock at the West Bank uh, intake. Now, we have sprayers at both of our intakes, which are designed to try and keep contaminants out of the system. And uh, in addition to that, filtering and other uh, mechanisms that are our first line of defense. So uh, we're very confident that, uh, that our water supply is going to be just fine and that the, the fact that it was 50 miles north and doesn't appear to be a continuous leak uh, means that this is something that will have no impact on our system at all. All right, Councilman Chris Roberts for us. Thank you for uh, joining us by phone. And again, we do have uh, one direction of the Mississippi River back open to traffic. It was closed for the majority of the day yesterday and overnight around Convent because of three boats which collided on the Mississippi River in that location. But again, some positive news as you just heard from Chris Roberts. They are uh, sounding a bit relieved as we now know that one lane is, uh, or one direction rather, is open.